In this video, we're going to show you designs and how to leverage the market snaps. Now, the market snaps themselves are not specific data. They're just everything, meaning condo, house, rental, commercial, everything all together. However, you might want to customize the data to make sure that it works for your area. And I'm going to share with you how I did that in my own. So there's a couple ways to get to these market snaps. You can do the plus sign here a social graphic or a print media graphic, either one, and you're gonna choose anything that's related to that. So I'm gonna choose social, and we're gonna come in here and look for anything that uses the market snapshot. Now technically you can add a market snapshot to anything. I'm gonna come in here to working with buyers, actually listings, and we're gonna do the local expert and neighborhood snaps. There we go. Neighborhood snaps are where you get those little information. So this is what I'm talking about. It's a pre-made widget with price, different things that have sold, and everything there. Now, this is our ability to choose one of these graphics and customize it. So I already did this, and I wanted to share with you how I was able to change the data. So first thing to understand is when you're here, if you're looking for a market snap, it's under KDBLS and market snapshots. So I live in Coral Ridge Isles. This allows me to find my neighborhood, come in here, and you're gonna get two pre-made widgets ready to go. Now, I'm gonna add it to this graphic just so you can see. They've got one in a uh, linear version, and then they've got just a picture of the map if you wanted just that, which I do like, and then the graphic itself. So I really like this the image of this graphic. So here it is, and look at the discrepancy. This is what pulled up. This is what I customized the data to say. So here was how I had done that. I'm actually gonna go in here and you're gonna see I added a couple different things. So first thing is, where do I get the data to begin with, right? This is everything, active, pending, days on market, price per square foot. Well, I went to the MLS and in the MLS, I was able to do, you know what, I just want data for single family homes only because that's a different market in my area. And I'm looking for active, active under contract or backup, pending sales, and closed in the last 30 days. That's just what I'm looking for. Now, I leverage the MLS by going to the map and drawing my shape. So this should match my neighborhood map that is inside of command, and this is where I'm targeting Coral Ridge Isles. So because of that and my criteria, now when I come to results, guess what? I've got four active homes. I've got three backup and under contract. I've got seven here of pending under contract. <clears throat> so this is able to pull up all that data. What I like is the MLS and matrix in this case has the ability to select all of these and come here to the stats button. This allows me to quickly get the data I need for my graphic. Perfect, so I've got what I need now. So it looks like there's seven pending, three active under contract, which means 10 under contract total. I've got four active and six that have sold. Perfect, so I'm gonna come in now to this design and that's what we're changing. So how I did this is I actually came in here and I'm gonna pull a shape first. So I need a shape. I'm gonna use a simple square in this case and I'm able to resize it. Now the first time you do this, it is a bit of a time consuming and I'm gonna come in here and choose black, black on the frame and make sure that it is truly black. So I'm gonna to come to the library colors and I'm gonna choose company and make sure it is black, black, there we go. Okay, so I've got my black colors chosen for both the outline and there, and there you go, it's hiding it. I'm good with the average list price, but I wanna put my own here. By the way, I can just sit there and say Control C to copy this, Control V to paste, and I could take this shape and cover up the sold price. Perfect, so I've got those two numbers done, and I'm able to add a text box. So I'm coming to text box here. I'm gonna move it up. We know that we need the color to be white, and I could just click and shrink this down to where I need it. Perfect, so if I pull up the data here, if I go off of closed sales price, our average sales price is actually 578, 750, that's what closed. The active under contract right now, the average sales price is 706,000. So that's what I'm gonna put in here, 706 is what the listing price is for the average, and then I'm actually gonna copy and paste that text box, copy, paste, and I'm gonna put it here for sold price because the average sold price though is lower and that is gonna be this number here, 578,750. So I can come over here, put this in. Okay, and I might just wanna round that up to 580. If you're trying to make it more universal numbers, whatever you're trying to do, so there we go. 
now I'm updating that data. So this wasn't too far off. It looks like when I did this last, the data changed a little bit. So I'm gonna put that for 706, 000, zero, zero. change this one to 580. Okay, so you see how I'm doing this. All right, that's how I did the top one, adding a shape and adding a text box. Then I'm gonna come in here and add another shape, but this time we're gonna do a square and we're gonna do it in white. So I'm gonna have it highlight and cover it down till it covers off the total active. So for here, I'm gonna come in and choose white and the same thing with my border. And there we go. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste these in the next couple spots. So I need it here, perfect. I need it there. And I'm actually gonna cover up, I don't like the price per square foot, quite honestly, personally. So I'm gonna highlight all of that and hide it out of here. There we go. So now I need to add text box and just add text for the total active. So I know right now there are four active homes in this neighborhood. So control, there we go, control A, number four. Okay, so I can go ahead and take that text box, resize it and center it or do it here and center my text. There we go. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna copy and paste this number, go into my next, so total pending. We're now at 10. That's probably where the numbers change. Okay, then I'm gonna take that copy and paste that one. Days on market. Well, we already did this for the closed, so the closed now is 15 days on market. Perfect, so I'm gonna put that in here, 15. Okay, and then I did not like the actual price per square foot. So what I'm gonna do instead is put down our actual closed units. And I doing this here, so a number of closed units was six sales in the last 30 days. So I'm gonna put in six. And then I do need that little header up above. So again, I'm gonna add text. And we're gonna say, do homes sold. Perfect, I'm going to go ahead and change that. I need it to be a bold text. I'm gonna change the size of it so it's similar to there. There we go, I might need to change the font altogether, so we're gonna try one of these other fonts and see what I can do to find this one to match as much as possible. Hmm, that's a little closer, okay. And I honestly think it's the coloring is more of a gray, so I can change that as well, but there you go. That's how I change this data. So now that I've done that and I've tied all these together, guess what? Next time I'm gonna come into this design, I don't have to redo it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these out of here because I've already done this design. I just wanted to share with you what I did to change all this data. Perfect, so now I've got it customized. Things are heating up in Coral Ridge Isles. I've got an image. I can also just drag the map over if I want to replace that. I've got my graphic down below. So there we go, gotta change this to say we have 10 pending. Average days on market was 15. And number of homes sold was six. Okay, so now the next time I come in here, guess what? I don't have to redo this whole thing. I just need to come in here and modify the little bit that had changed. So that's how we can use this. I hope you found value in this video. Be sure to like it, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on KD Connect and YouTube today.